What's up everybody? How's it going? Hope you're having a wonderful day. Today we're gonna add some spice to your paintings. Wow. What? You're, you're not impressed? Nobody's impressed? I think the world might not be ready for an art bay. If you are in the Discord server, you must know that I have a paint over entries channel inside my Discord server. So I am just scrolling through it and there are a bunch of really cool artworks here. And this one particularly really caught my attention. It's made by Crunchy Cheese, something I sketched up but never bothered to polish up. Nevertheless, here you go. This is really cool. I love the design on this, but you should definitely consider polishing it. It would look amazing. I really love the overall design on this. I'm not sure if it's a fan art or it's an original character, but nevertheless, it looks really great. And this has a lot of potential. So I have opened it in Photoshop. So first of all, let's discuss some of the things that can be improved in this painting. First of all, it's the background. The background is really blue land and boring there could be a lot more stuff into the background or even if you don't want to add too much stuff into the background there could be like a gradient or something it can be dark at the at the top and lighter at the bottom that would probably add a lot of variation into the background without crowding it with too much information that's that's one thing secondly i really love the fire but the fire does not really have any impact on this character i don't know if the fire is is behind this character or if he's walking through the fire I have no idea but yeah there should be some impact uh, of the fire on this character this orange light that the fire is emitting should be seen in the surroundings so yeah that's the other thing and I have also noticed that this character is almost touching the boundaries that's not a good idea you'd want to keep your characters away from the boundaries so it would be a great idea if this character is somewhere like this away from the boundaries it would look a lot better let me just quickly fill in the background this looks a lot better now and in terms of design I think these buttons are a little bit too distracting there are a lot of buttons I am an evil guy I need to button up my shirt every morning and walk in the fire I would probably erase this I am really enjoying this feathery thing though it's it's a nice touch we could refine this a little more this thing I don't don't know if it's an armor or it's a leather thing but this could be a little bit more refined in terms of shape and even this thing I don't know if it's part of this armor or it's it's kind of like a separate flap thing from his coat I'm confused about that. Also, this belt seems a little too modern. We'd probably fix that as well. Overall, I would also add some contrast to this artwork. And finally, there needs to be a lot of shadows. So first of all, I'll just go ahead and select this character and separate it from the background. We'll need to work on the edges so I am not really concerned with how clean the selection looks. So yeah, now we have this character on a separate layer. Now I can just go ahead and paint the background in. <laughs> right, so first things first, I'm just going to paint some darks into the background. So I'll just select this color, set a darker tone, lower the opacity, and just make the background darker. See, I've just put a gradient in the background and you can already see the difference it's making. So before, this was the background and now it looks like this. I'll also get rid of the fire by the way. So let's just quickly paint over the fire. And now we have a clean plate. For the fire, I'm just going to quickly Google some reference images. So I am going to search fire in the forest. And I'm going to see the images and basically see the color of the fire. I really like this image. Let's copy it into Photoshop. So I really like this image because it has some really nice orange and yellow hues going down here. And then the colors in the background are slowly transitioning into these blue hues. So there is a really nice change in color temperature, which is great. We'd want to do something like that into our painting as well. So I'm 
I'm just going to put it right here as a reference. I'll just go ahead and pick this orange color and make some fire. So we already have some orange hues down here and we need to add some yellow to it as well. Really saturated colors right here. And the center of the fire is mostly very bright. So there is almost this white color in the very center. So yeah, we can also add some of this color into the background. So let's see, we have some fire and now we have some smoke as well. Let's get rid of this reference and it is already looking pretty well. So let's talk about this character for a bit. I'm going to select this character and I am going to put some shadows on it. It's really about the contrast. If the background is a bit lighter, we'd want to make this character a bit darker so that it really stands out from the background. So yeah, before it was like this and now it's like that. We can also adjust some curves to add a little bit more contrast to this character. So now I will just start refining some shapes. So here we go. I think I also need to figure out some design elements. So he looks like a really menacing mage or something. Maybe he needs to have some sort of accessories and stuff. So what if we gave this guy some, some kind of a necklace made of twisted bones or something. Maybe some stitching belts seems to be made of bones as well. I'm also refining these feathers. We definitely need to add some shadows in these shapes and some highlights as well. So yeah, it's looking pretty good so far. We're gonna treat the fire as it is in the background. So the main figure would definitely catch some of that light, but we wouldn't make it like he's walking on fire or something. So yeah, let me show you what I mean. So the first scenario would be that this guy is in the foreground and the fire is in the background. So in this case, we'll be definitely getting some bloom. And then this character would definitely catch some, some of that bright light coming from the background. We could also add some moonlight to this character coming from here. It would really help us separate this character from, from the background. And the second option would be like if this character was just walking into the fire, right? So this character would be a lot more orange and a bit bright as well. And there would be a lot of area that's being affected by this light coming from down here. And this character would be lit in a very different style. We would also add some fire probably to the foreground as well. And for this one, I think we also need to add some source of light here. Something like that. So yeah, right now we have two options. Option A and option B. But for this painting, I think we're gonna stick with this option. The option A. So let's go back to the artwork. So we can also refine some shapes for the fire. Adding some particles, some embers going out of the fire. It gives a nice touch. And then we would put some orange light here. So the character is catching some of that orange light coming from the background. And we'll add a neutral light coming from here. We could also dim it like that. And for contrast, we can darken the opposite side of it. 
And now the fun part, we can start adding some rim light. Like I said before, this would really help us separate this character from the background. So yeah, see how it really helps define the shapes? Now I am just adding some details here and there. I think it's looking pretty good. We can definitely darken the background more if we want to add a bit more contrast. And in the end, I could also go ahead and add this green tint on the whole thing. So it's very similar to what the artist had chosen for this character. I also noticed that the original one had some snowflakes coming down from here. So I'll just quickly add that to the painting as well. So yeah, here we go. I think we have a more refined version of that artwork right here. We have created a strong fire and the character catching some of that light from the fire. We have also added some design elements to the character. We have introduced another cool light source coming from the right side and some rim light on this character's edges and a nice gradient in the background. I think it looks pretty good, but I would love to know your thoughts as well. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, comment down below, let me know your thoughts and suggestions. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please hit that subscribe button, what are you waiting for? And one last thing, please hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. And with that being said, I'll see you again in the next video, take care.